fact that there are 1.6 billion people in this world who have no access to modern forms of energy and certainly no electricity. And essentially, these are people who really don't have any means for lighting their homes. They live in small homes, they're poor people, large numbers of people crowded together in a small one-room dwelling and no form of lighting. Now, I have decided as a mission personally and through my institute to launch something that I call Lighting a Billion Lives. We have developed a set of solar lanterns that cost the equivalent of about $70 and a set of solar flashlights or torches. These cost the equivalent of about $8. And I think if one can get these financed either through corporate philanthropy, through development assistance, not free of cost, but we price them in a manner that's affordable for the poor people of the world, it can make such a difference. And more than anything else, this obviates the possibility of setting up large centralized coal-based power stations just to supply electricity to rural areas through transmission and distribution systems that are often terribly wasteful. So I, I think one has to jumpstart the, these, this kind of process. And I think biomass gasification has enormous potential. There's a lot of agricultural residue, as I mentioned, in several parts of the world, which can be gasified for power generation, for local and decentralized distribution. So I think we're on the verge of a revolution of this nature, and it would help enormously if the US could get into some partnership activities with the developing countries, because you can then develop technological solutions that would have relevance, certainly to this country, but to several other parts of the world. And you're then, therefore, forestalling the possibility of conventional energy development, which obviously would have greenhouse gas emissions over a period of time. So I think, as you said, Mr. Chairman, I think we're on the verge of a revolution. But if we could assist this through policy measures, through legislation, we'd be able to achieve results that much faster.